Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of the 2024 Sabre 38 DBL. This is a four slide model with two full baths, a bunk model that looks like a jungle gym, and a massive outdoor kitchen. Plus it's got vacuum bonded side walls, rear backup camera, a solar package, and an extended season RV insulation package. There is a lot to go over in this video. I hope you guys dig the tour. Hit that like and subscribe button. If you're looking for all the specifications, things like length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, and a price for, and a link for the pricing, you can find that down in the description and it should pop up on the screen. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Probably gonna do this thing in about, you know, 15 to 20 minutes or so. We're gonna start on the inside then work our way on the outside well yeah kick back relax drop a comment let me know what i could do better life is going good for your boy seems to be the old social media thing is paying off and uh you know i just hope you guys enjoy the tour that's for sure it's the 2024 saber 38 dbl and i think that stands for dual bed loft maybe double bath I don't know. I don't do the thinking. They hire me because I'm friendly. So I'll let the thinkers think. But uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. And since this is a bunk model, I'm going to start back in the back, but I want to walk through the main area. You're going to get two entrances. So one right here and one right there that is direct access to the bath, which I think if you guys have kids, you know, I got four at home and I think that's key just so they don't come in here, you know, like Ferdinand the Bull and just destroy your RV when you're trying to keep it clean. Let me know what you think about the decor too. The Sabre team, I personally really like it. It seems to be kind of hit or miss, but that, that brown tone, people either love it or they uh, you know, don't love it. So let me know what you think about that. I also like how the windows on the exterior, notice how they're not tinted. They have the mirrored reflective finish, which on the outside, you'll be able to see a little bit better. But um, man, it kind of works like sunglasses to where it keeps the sun out, but it also keeps those UV rays out as well, which is going to help, you know, the longevity of your furniture and things like that. But like I said, we're going to start back here in the bunk room and I absolutely love this setup. So it's going to be pretty darn open and it's going to feel rather large because you get this slide right here and the bottom couch pulls out for some additional sleeping, probably going to sleep like you know, your older kids, like we got a 15 and a half year old at home. That's where he's plopping down. So it's a little bit bigger, a little bit more suitable, you know, for that, uh, you know, for a bigger person. But then up top, you get another little bunk bed that comes down. It's also got a 300 pound weight capacity. So even someone like myself could sleep up there in a pinch if I needed to. If you got some adult friends that just need a place to crash. Directly across from your sofa, I'm just gonna sit down right here. This is what you're gonna be looking at. You get a plenty of storage. And then right here is actually an area for a TV backer. And I like how they snuck in a bunch of storage there behind. Now I'm six feet tall, you know, with average size arms. And, uh, you know, I can't even reach the end there. But that's nice because you can put like the kids like Xbox or PlayStation, you know, those rainy day, you know, kind of items. Not that they're always playing, you know, when they're in the camper. But, you know, at night just to have a place where they can, you know, kind of watch a movie or something like that. And all the storage, all their stuff. And I feel like the kids stuff just kind of accumulates and then who knows, maybe they got some buddies having those video games. Sometimes it's pretty fun at the campground at night. Um, storage is going to be looking just like this on both sides. Now I didn't climb up this ladder um, to turn on the lights up here, but you get to see what it's like with none of the lights on. You do get the accent lighting. Quite frankly, I am a, uh, well, I mean, I'm 300 pounds. I'm a round belly. I was worried about turning this into a V shaped ladder to get up there. So I went ahead and kind of forego that. But you can see you get the, the bigger than average uh, teddy bear mattresses, which is nice. And the bunk starts here, where there's a little cubby, by the way. And it goes all the way up over here. And I like how it's even, you know, fenced in, too. So you don't have to worry about anyone kind of falling off and clunking their head at night. You also have one of the ACs back here as well. So this is all going to be running on a track system throughout the camper. So you're going to see these, like, little vents right here. But this part right here, if you take your finger and you were to get... Oh, I'm getting a little glare. If you were to take your finger and open that up, you can disproportionately push that cool air, you know, into this room. So if you guys are watching a movie in the living room and you want to cool down the bunk room real quick, just pop that thing open, take advantage of it, you know, and you're good to go. Into 
back here, which by the way in that mirror, it's an old bowling gun right there looking all good. Need to get it figured out though. Had a stinker of a week bowling. But we got a two and a half year old and I love the fact that it has a tub. You know, it's not like the one inside your home, but it'd be perfect for a little place to, you know, for my little daughter to sit down, take a little bath, have a little bubble bath action, you know, and kind of chill. But I like the fact that this thing has two baths. I just think that makes life so much easier. And I love, love, love the fact that it has its own separate entrance. You know, maybe you're, which by the way, I went to Funtown Superstore. They got this pretty sick little area. You got volleyball here in a little lake that's stocked. But when you buy an RV, you know, you can plant your camper here for a couple days, take advantage of the service department, just kind of taking a look, which I think is, uh, you know, pretty cool. So if you don't know how to use anything, you can call them up and uh, you're good to go. But I just like how the fact that when you come in here, you're not going to be tracking, you know, the mud throughout the rest of the camper. Just kind of a nice feature to have. And then right here, you got your controls where you can check your tank fills. And then this is for um, a fan which is gonna be right there. So it just kind of helps circulate some of that steam and doesn't let it accumulate inside your camper. You get another window right up here for some natural lighting, more accent light as well, which at night creates a nice little kind of ambient glow. I think the floor color is looking pretty darn nice. It's got some texture to it, you know, it's just looking cool. And now you're into the living room and I like the way the living room is set up. You got your TV with your electric fireplace that puts out enough room to heat up the entirety of this room even on a pretty chilly day, but you can see it's open, it's roomy, it's really tall. So again, six feet tall, average arms, not even reaching the ceiling. You also get the ceiling fan to help circulate some of that air, but I like it. I think it's nice. You know, you got uh, the slide room right there, probably sitting at about six, three. You have your theater seating, which is manual. So you pull those little power clips or the little power clips, geez, oh, Pete's. They do hire me because I'm friendly. You got your clips that pull the recliner portion back up, but you also get kind of that hybrid feature to where you have a little light that you can click on, provides accent lighting down there. You also have massage and heat, and they're very comfortable. I've taken naps in many of them just like it. Plus, it's directly across from your view of that absolutely massive TV, and it's my favorite brand to say, the Sansui. So right here, Nice little area, maybe for some stowaway items or even, uh, you know, some food, I guess, if you wanted to. But there is another one, you know, right over here. Well, that one might be better for food, actually. But you got table for four. Play some cards. Have some dinner. Do what you got to do. Nice tall windows. The two middle ones do open up for a really nice breeze. And you see that they open up the entire height, too, which is nice. You know, some of them only open up kind of that partial down there. And then let's see what kind of shades they got. They got the zebra shades. So if you're not familiar with the zebra shades, a little bit less expensive to do it this way, uh, but it has the same functionality as kind of like that day shade and then the night shade. And I remember in a video a couple years ago, I was asked to do those slowly. Um, you know, some nice old lady asked me about that. She said she was epileptic and didn't like the way I was opening it. So ever since then, I've kind of switched it up. So on either side here of the electric fireplace, you have storage right there. The TV is on a swivel, so you can kind of move it around how that you would like. And you got a little area back here again to tuck away a couple things. This right here is going to be your Bluetooth receiver. So all of your audio is going to be on the Bluetooth. So you simply just connect there and then you're going through, you know, the unit. You got speakers um, just kind of, you know, kind of mixed around throughout the camper. Same storage on the other side. You also got the black glass insert right here. Storage all up and around your contour uh, microwave. It's also going to be a convection microwave as well, which is pretty interesting because they do have uh, an oven still. So you got two places that you can bake and you see it's a fairly large oven as well. So you can put in a couple turkeys. There's adjustable shelving. You got the three stovetop burner to whip up all the fixings. Solid surface countertops. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. Outlet, outlet, and a window. Flip it around, this is going to be your island. So you're gonna have three pull-out drawers. And then underneath the sink, you're also gonna get some pretty clean cut storage and access to your plumbing there. You also get the farm style uh, charcoal sink here too, and the high-rise faucet. 
There's the old solar talking about that. I believe it's a, a 190 watt up on the roof, but I'll put that down in the description nonetheless because I'd hate to steer you wrong. Pendulant lighting, which I forgot to uh, turn on. And then you got your Everchill refrigerator. And that was that safety latch right there. But you got the Everchill refrigerator. And what's nice about this refrigerator, if you see here, where am I going? Right there. So, well, you can't see from here, but it's a 12 volt. So if you're not familiar with 12 volt, basically it'll run off the solar up on the roof, your battery when you're driving down the road, you know, or just, um, you know, whether it's your RV battery, you know, or your truck, there's got more safety latches here on the sides, but dual split areas for the freezer, which is nice. That center tar partition is able to be kind of moved and adjusted however that you would like. This is that other pantry I was saying that's probably better for the, uh, better for the food. And then you got another little area right here where you could put like, this is where I'd have my coffee machine, possibly a, um, like a little blender, so like Keurig and blender action, universal C and universe and, uh, USB, another outlet, and then more storage right here with some shelving. You also got more right here. And then you got a couple areas that for me would probably turn into drunk drawers, but for you, maybe it's just useful storage. I don't know. No carpet in the slides too, which I know a lot of people like. But again, look at the height in here. I mean, this room is just, it's very open. So right here is going to be your one control area. So you turn on that and it's going to start loading up. I didn't turn it on prior to, but the Lippert one control app, you can also do from your phone as well, water pump and your lighting. Plus you can check your different tank levels. Here's your, where you're going to control uh, the heat and the AC. And then there's going to be your fuse box and an area where you can kick off a couple shoes there too underneath the steps that bottom one is kind of floating you got a little handle to help you get up the stairs if you need it another window again with that reflective mirrored finish which i'll show you here on the outside and then you have a shower that is pretty darn impressive so triglide glass series with a shower that's got you know enough room for one two if you really wanted to squeeze it but you also have a little seat in here too which is pretty darn nice now i typically move the triglide glass series over here to open it up but let me hop on in here. Slide height or slide height. Shower height's nice. It's also got an oversized little action for uh, natural sunlight, which is nice. Probably about maybe six, 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 seven or so. You got a couple places for some soaps. And then of course that seat where you can, you know, let some hot water hit you. You also got the Furion uh, system right here. So that's going to be nice. It's more of instant hot water lasts a heck of a lot longer. It's a great system to have. I'm happy that Sabre introduced it. Little bowling gun action, baby. Ah, man, I bought a new ball hoping that it was the ball and not the bowler, but it turns out the bowler's rusty and, uh, back to reality. I got to practice. All right, right there, baby. Look at that bed. Nice functional spot. Two windows that open up for a breeze. Inverter prep area, or it's uh, prepped onto the inverter too. And then USB and universal C and outlet. Underneath here. Storage, baby. And then right here, a TV backer with the appropriate plugins. And then you got your three dresser drawers as well. Washer and dryer prep, and it's pretty cool to where it's placed. Uh, you got your own separate little door right there if you would like. But also, if not, it's pretty much one big massive closet. All right, I think that about does it here for the inside portion of the store. So if this is where you head out, if you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button if you found some value in what I'm doing here. But again, it's the 2024 Sabre 38 DBL. And in case you miss it the first time around, all the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, will be down in the description of this video. This is a good opportunity right here. This is what I'm talking about with the mirrored reflective finish. Look at that, you can't really see in. You can see the lighting in there, but you can't get the nosy eyes quite in unless you put your eyeballs right onto it. But man, look at that. Just again, it helps with the UV light, works just like those fancy sunglasses. You're ready to rock. You got your auto leveling, which is always, you know, nice. Just not have to do a couple extra clicks. Little lights there heading up the front on both sides to make the nightlife a little easier if you're hooking up to your, um, to your hitch. 
propane behind this door. Right here, you got your pass-through storage, and you can see it is a big boy. You also got an area where you can put on a charger for like one of those pills. Um, you can buy that Driven Dribbits is the brand name for that charger. But you can scan that for more info. Another outlet on the inverter. Aluminum construction. It's also going to be welded at all points, which is nice. A little leash latch for your furry friend. Heated and enclosed underbelly. The fancy kind of metal steps uh, that are going to be a little bit sturdier, you know, which is definitely nice for that inclement weather. Flips up into the doorway. And this awning is going to start here. And it's going to go all the way over to here, which is pretty nice. So it's going to cover most of this campsite. You also have your tire pressure monitoring system on there too as well, which you can tell by those green caps that you might not pick up from here. But that's going to be nice because it's going to come with a little screen that um, you know tells you if you're ever going to get like a blowout or anything like that when you're driving down the road. The outside kitchen is definitely impressive. So I like the fact that they didn't have like a pull-out griddle. They went ahead and opted just to do the LP Quick Connect, but you get a lot more prepping space. You know, when I'm, ga when I'm camping, I want some burgers, I want some buns, I want some dogs just sitting out here ready to be scrum diddly um just on. You also have a plumbed in sink, more storage right here, and then you have a refrigerator where you can fit probably about a 94 pack of apple juices in there. You know, absolutely no problem. So you guys can have a ball, you know, down at the campground. Now they didn't want to spend the extra probably four or 500 bucks for those steps on both. So they went ahead with the aluminum steps right here. But again, easy access to the inside bathroom without the inside you know, of your camper when they don't need it to be. Now you do have a receiver. And then right here, you see that little black bar. That's gonna be prepped for the Lippert on the go ladder system. So you can get on top of your fully walkable roof, check your seals, check your slides, make sure everything is on the up and up. You also have that wireless backup camera that's coming standard on Sabre, which is nice. All three of the slides over here are going to be eligible for a slide topper, which is a piece of awning that goes from here to here. It stops debris from falling on top of your unit and therefore prevents, you know, leaks from kind of that bonehead moment where like a, a tree branch is ramming into your seal. So that's going to help out there too. Here's where you plug in the camper with your 50 amp connection. You also got uh, your gray tank right there. We're going to be dumping it. There's going to be the old black tank right there, the old poop tank. Back end of that pass through storage, here's going to be your auto level system. So one touch, real nice and easy. And this is your docking station. So you have your, both your black tank flushes, which are sprinkler systems for your poop tank, where you're going to fill up your water, your water bypass valve for your winterization hot and cold water in the form of an outside shower. And you got a little outside to in access, you know, right here as well with that little cup. You also sturdy kind of slide box construction, which I like. Some of them are kind of, they kind of flex when you push down on them, but you got your propane there. And then right here, you got your spare tire, docking light switch, and uh, you know, your battery bank where it looks like you got room for two. And then you got your solar charge controller there as well, which lets you know, you know what the sun's doing for you but all right guys hope you guys enjoyed the tour again my name is hunter and this is the 2024 saber 38 dbl hope to see you guys next time see ya